What's up, everyone? Welcome to the WHS podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about student athletes and what's it mean to be a student athlete and in high school. Today, we're going to be talking to Caden Bergeson, a student athlete at Whiting High School. Hi, Caden. Hi. So, your freshman year at high school, what did you expect from the sports program? Um, well, okay, first of all, what sports do you play at Whiting High School? So, this year I did football and I'm um, doing baseball. Okay. So, how was football? Football was, um, we had a rough year, but overall, I enjoyed it. It was, I don't know, it was a good experience, I guess. Um, uh, Players really showed, like, what family really means. Uh, You gain, you gain brotherhood with that. Uh, You meet a bunch of new people. So, it was really good, personally. Okay, that's good. So, do you think becoming a football player made you more well I know it's only your first year but do you think it like matured you as a person and it's going to mature you more in the upcoming years that you play for the football team um yeah actually I think it will mature me more um it's gonna keep me out of like uh bad stuff and um it just I don't know it uh, just really does help out overall coaches uh watch out for you do you think that it was more difficult to be a student while playing sports with like managing practices and games while having homework to do and keeping your grades from failing? Um, yeah, it was kind of difficult for that, but you uh, you just got to like push yourself through it. If you want to play a sport, you have to do it. Okay, so what do you expect from this baseball season, seeing that uh, the baseball team had just won a sectional? Um, I feel like we have a good chance this year. Um, it's going to be hard. We lost a lot of seniors last year, but um, I feel like we have enough freshmen to fill in. Uh, we have a big freshman class. Um, these next couple years are going to be rebuilding on all sports. It's going to be uh, tough, but we, I, I feel like we could uh, secure the other wins this year. All right, so uh, have you played baseball before? Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, what do you, so how do you think the baseball team, you said all sports, so how do you think the, maybe the football team, the basketball team, and the baseball team are going to rebuild? Um, what do you mean by that? So basically what I meant like that was like the basketball team right now, uh, we, we already are rebuilding. Like we're doing, or they're doing great. The basketball team is doing great. Um, I feel like... Our freshman class, as soon as we turn seniors or juniors, our juniors or seniors, it's gonna be like we're gonna be a lot built built more, we're gonna have more potential in sports. It's things like that. I feel like we're gonna have more of a chance of Okay. So yeah. since I also am a student athlete, do you think the weight room plays a big part in the rebuilding of the athletes and the freshmen for the upcoming seasons? Oh, definitely. Um it's like a it's not a have to, but you definitely want to. It's speed camp. Uh, we train here, speed camp, coached by um, Coach Davenport. He's a great man, uh, taught, us, taught us a lot right over the football season. But um, speed camp does uh, help. Um, also, like weight room, that helps out a lot. Uh, you're going to want to get in there every day. As soon as you could, get in there. I go in the mornings with uh, Aiden, and it's definitely worth it. All right. Do you think that sports compared to middle school and high school are going to be different and how would you react to that i guess more serious tone say a middle school basketball practice wouldn't have compared to a high school oh i mean i didn't really play uh, basketball i don't i'm not on play basketball it's going to be more of a football like football was yeah i could, I I could mean, really football. Right. A bad example. yeah i could relate to that um football in middle school it was more of like you played around like you played so much like you didn't really practice as hard. You didn't. The games weren't as hard, and like the coaches didn't take you as serious. And when you get in high school, if you act around like that, you could get kicked off the team like that. Like it's, you can't act around. You have to do what you're told, and make sure you like, just keep going with practice. Don't give up. All right. To you, what is the meaning of commitment? Uh, commitment. It's like a. It means a lot. It's something like my parents always taught me with sports. It's you can't like give up on a sport if you like sign up for a sport don't never give up on it you know yeah how do you think commitment would be a really important factor in playing sports for high school uh for high school middle school uh was i um there's a lot of people who quit high school even more like they a lot of people gave up 
during our football season, but it's something like you really can't give up on. It's you have to put in the work. If you're gonna sign up for something, like I said, and do it. All right. Why do you think a lot of people quit? Um, I feel like because it's just hard. You have to put in work. Like I said, it's that's our like saying, do work. You actually have to do work. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be something you just go out and play a game or something like that. You have to put in work for it. All right. Well, thank you, Caden, for uh, doing this interview with me. Uh, no this has been the WHS podcast. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next podcast.